So I wanted to read day two from my new devotional upon waking. It begins with the scripture Colossians 4, 2, that says, devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. And I say, no one likes to be bored, especially now in this age with a million ways to be entertained. Things like the optionality of commercials reinforces our impatience. When only a decade or so ago, sitting through an advertisement with twiddling thumbs was an obligation. Now it's a choice no one makes. Keep the entertainment going, we say. Then there's the wonderfully terrible invention of social media that entertains without ceasing, like the Coliseum in our hands. And one swipe, videos of a recipe, a 12 second sermon, a slam dunk, a knee on the neck, an article about nothing and everything, a riot at the Capitol, and a dog singing Sinatra. It's no wonder that when it's time to pray, the length and consistency of the prayer suffers under the weight of a mind that's completely uncomfortable with boredom. In whatever quiet place you've chosen, in your car or in your closet, you sit or lie, kneel or stand, closing your eyes, you begin as usual, our father or something like it. Then you remember you forgot to get some paper towels for the kitchen, who art in heaven. Then there's the online meeting you have on Thursday. Hallowed be your name and why didn't daddy buy me the bike he asked for when I was 12? At this point, you have two options. You can keep sitting with God in the silence of everything or give in to the noise in your mind, which if you're honest, feels more entertaining than intimacy. Yeah, I think, I think this idea of boredom is something that we have to dig into as it relates to our prayer lives and our intimacy with God, because I think some of it is we are so entertained by everything throughout life that when it comes to just sitting still, we don't know how to do it. And so perhaps this devotional can help you begin to practice that as a discipline once again.